Tony Yeo used to, you know, always say the story in our interviews. They learned early on, you know, they would go to shows or whatever else. Someone in the crowd would act up. One of their street guys would break their jaw. So 50,000. 50, 50 got to pay. 50 got to pay. It. Yeah. You keep doing this over and over again, you get tired of it. Yeah. You get tired of paying 50000 every time you go out. Yeah. So I you, you start I, bringing less and less people around. I just slapped some cameras out the paparazzi hand and ain't had to. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you can't, I didn't know you couldn't bother them. They all up on, hey, watch out. Hey, can't wait till you do that. They said in that so fast. They can't Go wait to, to the find police. you. What? Yeah. I'm like, damn, I'm, I'm tired like, it's a lose Hanging lose. out here in the cold. Yeah, you know, a, for no money. I will sue you. What? He can't wait. they rather get punched. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, but, yeah, you guys got to watch who you keep around. And like I was saying earlier, like, even with the game bangers that I, that, that, like, I say are my everyday homeboys, it's only, like, I'm, like, the only one that's not a homeowner. You know what I mean? Like, I'm the one that's backed up, and they got regular jobs. I probably touch way more money than them and whatever the case is, but I'm surrounding myself around people that's thinking right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, motherfucker thinking for their family and for the future, and they don't make half as much money as I make, but they still are grounded and sticking to their script to what they doing. You know what I mean? Like, like I just seen people make it off of, Three jobs, like my homeboy just, he a security guard, he got a store, he got this, that, and the other, and he paying all his bills at once, and I'm like, damn, if I had to do that, I'd be killing again. I'd be running in banks or something, but you know what I mean? And he owns houses and all that. You got to just, like you say, surround yourself around people who are trying to do better in life, because at the end of the day, when you around the sliders, what they say, nine millionaires, what you going to be? The tenth? Tenth. Nine sliders? Dad's going to jail with him. I don't give a fuck what you talk yeah. about. Yeah, exactly. It's been proven though. Uh, Pablo Juan. Uh, what's the dude name? Bankroll Freddie. Uh, they, they got taking, twelve years. Yeah, they taking rappers to jail. They 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 put niggas up. My boy, they got long way. Pee Wee Longway, yeah. That shit's fucked up. The, he was he wasn't in jail the last time, was he? No, he was. He is now. I remember uh, me and Ten Ninety Jake talked about that case. I guess they found a bunch of fentanyl pills and. Yeah. There was like calls or texts between him and some cartel dudes. Yeah, it's yeah. bad. Yeah, because right before that, we did this shit and uh, everybody was like, oh, you answered some questions that Pee Wee wouldn't have answered on Vlad. You a snitch. I'm like, man. Pee Wee Longway had the greatest Vlad TV interview ever. Yeah. He denied everything. <laughs> everything. The dopest He's like, shit. I don't know, the streets, I'm, I'm a school guy. I yeah. Was, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. And it made him great. It made for a great interview. When I, when I look at your music, when I listen to your music and I look at your album covers and stuff like that, I'm seeing a lot of blue. The color blue seems to be very it's prominent. A, it's a, it's, it's, it's a nice color, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice color. It ain't nothing like now, that. Now, now, I assume there's a Crip thing going on? Nah, just a nice color. Just a nice color? Yeah. No no Cripping going no, on? No, no, no nothing. Just no a nice nothing. color, just the scene. Things okay. in the scenes, man. Okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, you know, growing up in that type of environment, uh, a lot of people start to hustle early. Like, how old were you when you first started hustling? I wasn't hustling, man. I was, I, I, I was a school guy, man, going to school, handling my business, man, you know? <laughs> you 100% legal? You were good? Yeah, yeah. Doing everything by the book? Doing it by the book, man. Make sure it happens. Yeah, for sure. You know, it was, a, it, it, was, it was definitely a legendary interview. I, I just don't understand. Listen, I, I'm not saying it's true, but he's in the feds right now. Yeah. Right? Pee Wee Longway. Pee Wee seemed like he had like a real following in music. Yeah. Why mess around, you know, with drugs when you don't really have to? I understand that this is way more money than the rap shit. But the rap shit doesn't come with any prison time. You know when you doing certain shit, and I'm not saying that he was involved or whatever the case right. is. Innocent That's his case. Yeah, yeah, I ain't trying to speak on his case. But sometimes when you making plays and making money, you don't notice that you're doing some illegal shit. Come We've on. We've been, nah, because you got to think. Come on. You got to think. If I got a weed 
if I got a weed brand where I sell bags of weed all day and they ain't paying it no attention and I'm sprinkles and whatever, I got to, you know what I'm saying? And you selling weed, say you the owner of rents and you just selling bags, selling bags. Then you get to a state where they tripping off that shit and you moving around like, damn, when I'm in L.A., this shit ain't illegal. But when I'm here, it's he, illegal. He wasn't arrested for weed. I understand. But what I'm trying to tell you is when you move as a trapper, like when you come from that and you like trapping and rapping at the same time, because you know he got a weed company. They Well, he got like a weed strand. And okay. They do pop-ups and all that. So, you know, boom, boom, boom. Oh, my money low. Oh, he got some for the low over here. Shit, I'm about to go pull up and grab it real quick and go dump it to my boy. Who the fuck is thinking, like, he's not doing this shit every day? They only got one time. I, like, I can tell you for sure, long way don't sell hard drugs. So even him, if that wire is true and he was doing some shit, it was like a maybe somebody that he rapped with came up from Mississippi, bought a feature. Like, you hear what I'm saying? Like, he make a phone call for a motherfucker and go grab it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it ain't like you could just pull up there and go grab that. And I doubt that those pills was his either. Here's the problem these days, right? Because do you know that, wait, before you go into that, no, do you know the price of a fentanyl pill right now? Almost nothing. That's what I'm saying. 3,000 of them is like $1,500. I doubt them is his pills. Who the fuck is taking that case for that low? Here, here's the problem, right? And I remember, I forgot who I was talking to about this, where they were like, look, back in the day, we were selling drugs and we understood that it's illegal and if we get caught with the drugs and we'd have to deal with the time based on the drugs and whatever, whatever. And we, we came in it with our eyes wide open. We understood that. For sure. But these days you got to deal with a murder charge because you sold someone some drugs because the drugs have fentanyl in it. You may not even know it because the person, three people before you have cut it with the fentanyl because... From what I was told, you know, some of the interviews we did, the cartel doesn't want fentanyl in their cocaine. They yeah. do everything to try to prevent that. Yeah, probably. But the street guys that get it, that start to stretch it, they're the ones putting fentanyl in it. Yeah. So you got some drugs, you're selling it, you don't realize there's fentanyl in it, but when the so, person dies, they figure out you're the ones, you know, you're the one that supplied it, and you see it over and over again. Michael K. Williams, the guy yeah. that supplied him, yeah. the heroin. Yeah. He's facing murder charges. But this is like the, the cartel bullshit. I'm calling bullshit because they printing up them blue pills, them fake blues by the million. That ain't the cartel making them? I don't know. I don't know enough about this. No, I'm, I'm just saying, saying is, it's just like it be blowing my mind because they'd be like, oh, yeah, the cartel don't want the fentanyl. But where the fuck is the fentanyl coming from? Say it comes from China. Who is connected but the cartel who could make that shit move around like that. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> you get what all, I'm all saying? All I know is it's... that in 2024, not only are you dealing with drug charges, but you're dealing with potential murder charges. Yeah. It, isn't that enough to make you say this is not a good business to be in? Yeah, for sure. And you're only making small percentages. Yeah, you're taking sure. a massive risk. You know, yeah. you, you buy a kilo, whatever, for I don't know how much it goes for. Let's just say 17 you sell it for twenty. You're making three thousand. That's what you know. Whatever, fifteen percent profit, taking 10. all the risk. But if they buy ten right then and there, and they you don't got to move around, you could go pull up to this spot and he meets you there. You just take your thirty thousand. You ain't think about it like that, Vlad. You ain't think about it like you're that. not I'm thinking about the ramifications. You, yeah, you ain't thinking you, you, about but that. But you have to shit. think about it. You, you gotta know, play you it know out. what you're doing. You have to play out the game all the way to the end. Yeah. If I do this, then this happens, and this happens, and this happens. Am I okay with that third thing happening? Yeah. I mean, I know, and I and I'm pretty sure if if my brother did have anything to do with that shit, I'm pretty sure that he know the consequences. I ain't, yeah. he ain't been calling crying or nothing like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? 